y'all what's up my name is Avery and welcome to the start of a brand new reading vlog today is the start of the romance takeover buddy read readathon with a bunch of other of my booktube friends um, hosting it with me and the announcement video and all the hosts will be linked down below so please go check all of them out and see if they post a reading vlog for this readathon basically just a readathon where you read a bunch of romance books and uh, I don't have a TBR at all <laughs> this morning I had class and then I listened to the rest of Catching Fire because the live show for Catching Fire for the Hunger Games read along is tomorrow so I needed to finish it and uh I'm very emotional I love the Hunger Games a lot I'm so glad that I'm rereading this with some of my friends so if you want to like get caught up and read uh, Mockingjay and participate in the Mockingjay live show with us that's what our book is going to be for April is Mockingjay in preparation for A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes coming out. Before this readathon started I was halfway through The Beast of Beswick by Emily Howard which is our lovely ladies live show pick for the month of March and April. We decided to combine the months with one book because uh we're all going through some stuff right now. This live show is going to probably happen at the end of April or the beginning of May. This is a historical romance and it is a mix between a retelling of the Beauty and the Beast and Taming of the Shrew. It's basically a retelling of Beauty and the Beast but instead of Belle being all nice or whatever she's like a shrew. So I'm really enjoying this. Maybe I'll finish this today. I still have one more class which is the one class that I cannot stand at the moment. It's my US history course and my professor does not know how to use technology at all. His tests are really hard and I have to study like a week before the exam. The exam is on Monday and he has not told us what we're gonna do for the exam because we're all on Zoom now, we're all online. When we were in person, it was just a multiple choice test that you took in class for 50 minutes and that was the test. He hasn't told us what he's gonna do and the test is in three days and I am kind of irked. Depending on what he says in class later today at 1.50, we'll see if I will be able to read this weekend at all because I might have to study a lot, <laughs> which sucks. I didn't want to do that. My life is being overrun by school right now. Like every single waking moment of my life for the past two weeks has been doing assignments or reading things or going to Zoom classes and it's frying my brain. And like, I don't, huh, I'm so upset that professors aren't being more lenient at the moment. Instead of just giving us some slack because we're all going through so much crap at the moment, they're giving us more work and more assignments and expect more from us. I don't know if that's for everyone, but that's the way my school is right now. My school's kind of hardcore when it comes to academics anyway. I just wish they would cancel school in general or just like realize that we're in a crazy time in the world right now and like my anxiety is through the roof. My mental health is plummeting because of all this stuff. Add on all of the assignments that you're making me do constantly and it's just not a fun time not a fun time for me so i'm hoping that this weekend i can get some fun in and read some fun things so i don't have a plan as to what else i'm going to be reading i'm hoping that i can finish this today or read some of this today and then also pick up an audiobook if i want to make flashcards or something if he says that uh it's going to be proctored or something i have to make flashcards so um Maybe I'll put in an audiobook while I make flashcards. Uh, and I'll pick up an audiobook that I have in my Audible Escape. Hello there, everyone. It is actually the next day. It is Saturday, and I did not update you yesterday. I had my history class, and uh, two hackers came on, and one of them <laughs> was naked. That was interesting. My test is still on Monday. He still has no idea how the test is gonna be formatted, if we have to have an essay or not, which is killing me. So later today, I'm just going to be making flashcards literally all day long so I can study them all day tomorrow. Yeah, in about a couple minutes, I have the Catching Fire live show with Emma, Peyton, and Lily on Lily's channel. So uh, that'll be linked down below if y'all wanna check that out. We talk about Catching Fire. Oop. <laughs> Savannah is talking to me. Hi girl. I finished The Beast of Beswick yesterday. This book. I finished this book. I don't know how I feel about this. It was very promising at the beginning. I really enjoyed it at the beginning. And then, meow, I know. Meow. Meow. But the characters just kept fighting and fighting and fighting all the time. And it really got on my nerves. It really got on my nerves. The whole book he thought this girl shouldn't be with me because... 
of how ugly I am and like that's what he thinks the whole entire freaking book and then at one point he changes his mind and tells her that he changed his mind and then five minutes later he's back to the way he felt before and it just like I was really annoyed by it towards the end because it kept happening over and over and over and over and over again. I'm thinking maybe 3.5 or 3.75 out of 5 stars. I did enjoy the book nonetheless. The beginning was so promising, but uh, it kind of fell flat with how many conflicts they went into because it was kind of ridiculous. I started Toxic Desire by Robin Lovett. This was recommended by Isabel from Happy For Now, who's another co-host for this readathon. I'm 50% of the way through it. I'm low-key loving this book. Um, alien romance book. The woman is a human and then the guy is a uh, an alien. I don't remember the, the specific uh, alien name, but he's like made out of gold basically. His hair looks gold, his face, his body, his eyes are gold. They're like sworn enemies in like the galaxy humans and this alien species and um, he attacks her ship that she is the captain of and then they end up like fighting and they like crash into an escape pod of the ship and then the escape pod gets released and they end up crash landing on this planet <laughs> where um there's like toxins in the air where if you don't constantly do it <laughs> you're in horrible pain <laughs> it's a low-key really addicting i'm kind of enjoying it right now if you like ice plant barbarians i think y'all might like this too because i'm really enjoying it i'm probably going to do this live show finish that because it's this book is like 100 30 pages or something so um i have only half of it left and then i will be making flashcards and listening to an audiobook most likely but i don't know which one that is yet hello everyone it is much later on this saturday it is like 9 30 at night by now i started and finished a, a new book on audible escape called accidental abduction by eva lovett i think it's basically a alien romance i'm i'm really in the mood for alien romance the moment so that's what i've been listening and reading this one is about a girl who accidentally gets abducted by a purple alien dude and it's like their romance i'm stuck between a 2 and a 2.5 out of 5 stars i'm leaning more towards 2 it just is very cringy at times but it was a short audiobook that i got to listen to the main character woman really annoyed me um now i'm listening to marcus by anna hackett i believe this one seems way more promising. I did not read the summary before I picked it up because I just saw that it was a short alien romance book. Neither of the two main characters are alien at all. They live on Earth, but it's like post-apocalyptic to where aliens have invaded Earth and they're like living in the ruins of Earth with aliens trying to destroy these aliens living on Earth. I've never read one about aliens actually living on earth now so i'm very interested i'm actually really enjoying this one and i'm like maybe 60 percent of the way through now the toxic desire <laughs> i'm low-key really enjoying it um it doesn't have the best ratings on goodreads but like i'm like not taking it too seriously <laughs> like i'm having fun reading it you know i've just been studying for my history exam on monday so i've just been rewriting notes over and over and over again continue listening to this book while I finished my notes because I'm not done yet and then that needs to happen. Hello, it is day three is Sunday. Um, here's Ollie. Oh, and there's Kat. I finished Marcus yesterday, um, before I went to sleep. I really actually enjoyed it. I gave it a, I think I'm gonna give it four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. It's a book where they have like kind of a relationship and have known each other for years before anything ever like happens between them, but they've always uh, secretly liked each other. That was interesting. I don't think I've read a lot of books like that before because normally a book starts with them meeting and then them falling in love and whatever, but I liked how there was relationship stuff that happened before the book took place. Yeah, I've just been watching crash course videos for my u.s history exam tomorrow i'm almost done with toxic desire i think i have 25 or 20 percent left of the book and i hope to when i take breaks when i'm studying to read that sucker i just ordered two books which i haven't ordered a book in maybe a month or got a book in maybe a month because we're trying to limit our spending here but i decided to try book of the month because i've never done that before and i found out that they're doing a sale right now your book that you buy for the month 
um, only $10. So I really, really, really wanted Beach Read. They had Beach Read on there in hardcover for 10 bucks. And then I also bought, I don't remember the author's name, but it's To Have a De Hoax, which is, like is one of my most anticipated reads the entire year. I bought that through my local bookstore. No one's in their store and they're doing like curbside pickup, like they'll go to your car and bring you your book. Um, for you. So if you're in Houston, Texas, you live in Houston, Texas, please go check out Blue Willow Bookshop. Um, I'll link their website down below. I absolutely love them and they can pre-order any book for you and you can just pick it up at the store or you can have it delivered to you. But there is uh, obviously a, um, a fee for that. But if you go pick it up in store, there's no fee. So I ordered that book because I'm really excited for it. Other than that, I've just been cuddling with this dude here he's already asleep but yeah i just finished watching all the crash course videos that are for this test i love those videos they help me a lot and now i'm going to probably take a little bit of a break read a little bit of my book and then get to reading all my notes again i got all my other homework done that was due today so i could spend a lot of time studying so that's my plan for the day hello everyone it is later it is 6.30 maybe at night. I finished making all my study materials. <laughs> That's all of them. <laughs> um, for my US history exam tomorrow. I like to look at a, at a wall basically. At my apartment I have these two giant mirrors that are my sliding doors for my closet and I like to write and put up all my information on those mirrors. I don't have those here so I decided to just put it all by my desk for me to look at constantly. I was watching some booktube while I was cleaning because my room was a mess um, because when I get in study mode I don't clean at all. Um, so I finished making all my study materials and studied some today so I decided to clean. I also finished Toxic Desire. I'm giving this four stars. I actually really enjoyed this. I feel like it's like the Ice Planet Barbarian series where like objectively it's not the best thing ever written but like I'm a sucker for it. So I think that's what's gonna happen with the rest of the books. There's only two more books in the series so far and I think they're $3.99 each to purchase on Amazon as a Kindle book. They're not on Kindle Unlimited so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get to those because from the books that I bought today I haven't bought any books recently and like I have so many books and so many free books and I have Audible Escape and I have Kindle Unlimited. Also sorry for not really being present during this readathon. I know I kind of suck at being a host. Just school kind of sucks. <laughs> school uh, is almost done. I have a little bit over a month I think or a little bit under a month until I'm over. For the semester so thank the lord above i cannot wait for it to be over because school is horrible right now <laughs> it's taking over every single aspect of my life most of the time also just sorry for not having a lot of content in this <laughs> reading vlog i wanted to try to vlog every week now even though it might be filled with school i'm gonna be taking breaks of reading here and there i really want to do daily vlogging not daily vlogging but weekly vlogging and i post my vlog at the end of the week i've been loving people's vlogs recently and vlogs just in general not just reading vlogs i'm obsessed with colleen ballinger like i'm obsessed with her mainly it's because of flynn but her son but like i also really love her and her family and i love her daily vlogs so much they get me through the day sometimes and just everyone else's reading vlogs. I am obsessed with them. That's what I've been watching most of the time. Um, everyone's reading vlogs and vlogs in general. I also think it would be a great thing for me to have in history. This is what I did during this pandemic, <laughs> you know? That's probably what I'm going to be doing. I have to remember to start my reading vlog tomorrow. So I just got a lot of things I have to do. I also started this new system. I highly recommend it if you're a big list person like me. And normally at my old apartment, I would just write my to-do list on my mirror with dry erase markers and then erase it after I've completed it. And at the end of the day, I didn't want anything written on my mirror for my to-do list. I wanted it all erased. That was my goal for the day. But I don't have that here. So I have this instead. This is used to be my TBR cabinet. Now I have a TBR cart. So now I have all my books on the cart. And so we're trying to get this out of my room. This is an old piece of furniture that we've had in our family for a very long time. But I'm not using it, but we don't really have the space and time right now to move it anywhere else because me and my sister are back from college. It was gonna go in her room because she didn't live here for a little bit, but now she's back. So she's gonna stay in here for a little while, I guess. Um, my room's a little cramped, but that's okay. We can deal with it. So I decided these are two panels and this is my to-do side and that is my completed side. And I have sticky notes of things that I have to do tomorrow. <laughs> or hopefully we'll do tomorrow. So the pink ones are ones that I just reuse every day and then the 
green ones are ones that I need to do specifically for that day, like a piece of homework that I need to do, or a test I need to take, or a meeting I have tomorrow online. And then the pink ones are just like, take medicine, make bed, take a shower, read 50 pages a day, that kind of thing. And so then when I complete it, I'll take it off and put it on the completed side. Hopefully by the end of the day, this will all be knocked out and all of my sticky notes will be on that side. And I've been really enjoying that. Um, it makes me feel very, very, very accomplished. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a shower, then I'm gonna eat some dinner with my family, and hopefully we're gonna play Mexican Trains, which is one of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> hey y'all, it's the next day the readathon ended yesterday, and I realized I never ended the vlog because I was <laughs> studying last night and watching John Green Crash Course videos, so I thought I would wrap up the vlog and tell you about all of the books that I read this weekend for the Romance Takeover buddy read. I took my test today. We'll see what grade I got. I think I did okay on it. First book that I read was The Beast of Beswick by Emily Howard. This is our lovely ladies live show pick for the month of March and April. We're gonna have our live show for this book I believe the last Saturday of April. I think it's like Mar April 20. 24th I want to say maybe or 27th just the last Saturday in April. Ashley finished this book too this weekend. I don't know what she rated it but I rated it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was very promising but then it like all of the fighting and all of the um, conflict just like rubbed me the wrong way and I just got sick of it. But I did really love the beginning. I loved the beginning so much. I am looking forward to the next book though because it's about her sister I believe and like we see the ending of her sister's book I'm pretty sure like at the end of this one too and then the next book is just the first book but in the sister's point of view and what she's going through in that situation I believe um so we kind of like see the ending of her book um at the end of this one so I'm interested to see how that played out and how that happened. Next I finished Accidental Abduction by Eve Langless. Langless? I'm so sorry. I'm butchering that. I got this one off of Audible Escape and this is an alien romance. I gave this one 2.5 out of 5 stars. It was nothing special. It's cringy at times. There is plus size representation in this though. If you want to read a book that has plus size representation in it, that's something that I really loved is because our main character woman like didn't give a crap about her being plus size, which I love in a book. And then next I listened to Marcus, the first book in the Hell Squad series by Anna Hackett. I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I listened to it on Audible Escape. And I actually really enjoyed this. I haven't read a book where um, it's science fiction in the sense that it's post-apocalyptic and it takes place on Earth and aliens have invaded Earth and they're evil aliens and then the romance is between two humans and not an alien and a human um i really liked that and the last book that i read this weekend was toxic desire by robin lovett i actually really enjoyed this book this book was recommended to me by isabel from happy for now she's one of the co-hosts for this readathon this is an alien sci-fi romance i guess one 4.5 out of 5 stars that, get, that just gives me the feelings of the ice planet barbarian y'all <laughs> like I don't know why it's not the best thing I've ever written it's just trashy romance that I <laughs> really enjoyed but anyways there you have it that was my reading vlog for the romance takeover buddy read please go check out my co-hosts videos too um all of their information is linked down below I had a really 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 fun time this weekend even though I was really busy I got a lot of reading done I read three and a half books but anyways thank you all so so much for watching and I will see y'all soon in my next one Bye.